Hi guys, how are you? This is Dr. Ed. I'm uh, making this video because so many of my patients are asking about coronavirus. Every other text is something about that. So I wanted to put it in perspective, give you some information, some you know, some may be new for you, so you can handle this um, uh, you know, ongoing thing that was happening with us a little bit better. So the COVID-19 is, you know, it's a coronavirus. Many of them give us just regular colds. And so does this one, you know, 80% of people who actually catch this are very mild symptoms. And there are some people who have more severe symptoms and I'm gonna get into that in a second. So, but most people do very, very well with this cold-like virus. It's just that this happens to be a little different hitting some older populations, which we'll get into. So how is it spread? Mucous membranes, really important, you know, uh, if you're around two feet of someone sneezing and coughing on you, that's where you can catch it. Um, and unfortunately, you can catch it if you, you know, perhaps touch some services. There's more and more information that's coming out that this can live on services. So it may be very hard not to be exposed in one way or another, even if you're not around sick people. I expect this to get much more. I think the world has done a pretty good job in slowing the spread of the virus and I'm really happy that the world actually gets to practice some of this because we'll get through this um, you know pretty well uh, but you know the world really needs to cl collaborate in order to be ready for the next disaster so uh, so washing your hands super super important especially on surfaces apparently you know we about touch our face 20 to 30 times an hour without knowing so um, you know, having some Purell, you know, if you're going to gas up, if you're going to do something, just be very, very cognizant that you need to wash your hands if you're in crowded areas. So Purell is really good, kills things fast. You know, you got to do happy birthday like twice, you know, uh, to make sure you get between the fingers and around the wrist area. We use some of the natural ones that seem to be, you know, just as effective. So, um, you know, definitely want to use that overall. Um, who is at risk is really important. So all my patients, I'm a pediatrician, of course, but obviously there's a mother and a father, grandparents and everybody around. So who is at risk? It's really people who are a little older. I'm gonna show you this graph. This was from just last week. This is the worldwide get graph of who's really having fatality towards this. So if you see under nine year olds, there's none. And if you look at all of this, this is 1% is you know, under 50 year olds, barely in the 50 year olds. And then once you hit 60, 70, and 80, that's where you get most of your, you know, mortality. You know, people may need some attention in the hospitals and things like that, but the age group is our parents and our grandparents that we need to protect. So keep that in mind because the kids and young adults tend to do really well with this virus and they get, they get natural immunity as well. Um, One recent article that people who had, you know, uh, this virus and they got recovered, when they tested them later, they actually showed positive. So they may become carriers of it. This is one of those I don't know controversial things. Is why is that happening? Because if our body gets rid of the virus, we should create great immunity. We shouldn't be testing positive a few weeks later. So there's a little question about if this bio, is if this is a bioengineered different type of virus that we haven't um, you know, dealt with before. These questions need to be answered later on. The most important thing for us is to keep in mind that most of us will survive, protect the older you know, patients as much as possible. And this is not as severe, but most 80% will just have a mild cold. So we talked about you know, washing hands, the most important thing. The masks come into question, you know, so I, I looked into that a lot. That regular, you know, masks that have the open is the blue, blue and has the open sides. They're not helpful at all because the virus can go in. But if you cough, it may, you know, it may hold some of the virus. But you want to look at N95, N96, you know, and N99. Oh, these are 99% of the particles that is prevented from coming in. The important thing with that is it has to fit very well. So the young kids are not going to be very helpful. You know, anyone with a beard or anything like that. Is not going to be helpful and it will let it in. It may prevent us from spewing it out if we catch, if, you're, if we get sick. And if you are sick, you should stay home and you do want to get tested if possible. It's hard to get testing. I even looked 
to see if I can get some test kits over here. The whole state of California, they have 8,000 you know, test kits. So it's not like your regular doctor's office, you can. You know, they need to do nasal swab and send it to certain areas. Um, so it's not as efficient right now. I'm sure in the future, it'll become more efficient. So, but if you can stay away from people, if you're sick, you know, flu-like symptoms is your main things. Body aches, cough, runny nose, headaches, sore throat, you know, fevers. Those are the things that you'll notice even with the flu. And the flu is uh, rampant. I just had a whole bunch of, you know, yesterday I had a B positive still and a lot of AIDS that are there. So this flu season has been uh, pretty hectic. And, and the flu, the complication of the flu has actually taken a lot more lives than this. So I do want you to put things in perspective. Uh, that's my job to make sure that you guys know that. You can, you know, the likelihood of being hit by a car and having mortality is much higher than dying from something like coronavirus. So um, always important so that we can live a life without fear because, you know, fear, if you just turn on the TV, it's constant right now. There is one mask that I want you guys to know about. It's, it's amazing. It's, Israel has come up with two masks that the world hasn't. They don't, you know, they don't know a, a, a lot about it. And one is called Synovia, and the other one is called R... Argument. Those two companies are the first companies that put some copper, microfiber, antiviral things you know, um, in there that it actually protects 99% of viruses and bacteria. Only companies in the world that are doing it completely sold out. I'm trying to get some. I can't get it. They sent most of it to China, and of course they have things for themselves. But this could be, again, good for future stuff. You, might, you may want to look into that for the future and when this available. You know, again, more important if you're in the airport area, I don't, you know, I don't suggest that everyone buy masks, you know, because one, I told you, it doesn't work great. You know, two, we really need to have the healthcare workers have it first, and then the elderly, then the rest of us. I mean, you know, uh, because again, it's all about risk, you know, of morbidity and mortality, so. Um, so last thing is what do I recommend for my patients? I say take zinc because our body doesn't absorb it very well. It's not in our food supply. So colostrum, as long as you're not dairy allergic, you know, it's, it's a nice way to boost the immune system. I like probiotics, good when you're traveling. If nothing else, eat fermented foods, of course. Omegas are good for the body. They're anti-inflammatories, you know, and then phytonutrients, so the rainbow diet, if you can do a smoothie with all the colors, helps your immune system because, you know, again, we don't absorb a lot of these things and it's important. Um, there's different homeopathic blends if you get sick, you know, that you can take safely, you know, as well. So the bottom line is uh, very few, there's no, no child deaths, you know, like very young and very few people that are, you know, in the middle age or younger get harmed. So please live your life, you know, continue to follow. If you're going to travel, buy some travel insurance so that if, you know, if if something really hits hard in your country, then you use your common sense. You know, otherwise, you know, try to live life. And uh, I will give you other updates as as they come. You know, sending love to you guys, Dr. Ed. See you later.